Hello, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use word swag in conjunction with the Amplify Photos. Word Swag is one of my all time favorite apps to use because it's so simple and easy. So you log in and click on your library to pull up any of the pictures you've saved through Amplify. And I have just a few in my favorites. I like to favorite the ones that I'm gonna edit. I'm using the square because this is for Instagram and you go in, add in your text, double tap it so that you can edit it. I'm gonna put party in your mouth on this one because I love the mouthwash. It's so fantastically amazing. And as you can see at the bottom, there are a wide variety of different colors and text types and fonts that you can use through this program. So I like to go through and just try out a number of things. You can choose a specific color or you can go through their color palette that they have right there and just decide what goes best with the photo. So I decided on a red because it pops and it's easy for you guys to see as I do this video for you. And as you click through and decide which one and try out the different text types that there are, you can move them around just with your finger. You can also, you can see the one, two, three, four, five at the bottom. Those change the layout of each text um, type. And so for most of them, there are about five different text types that you can use. One of the features is you can click the auto line breaks on or off. When it's on, then it automatically will break it up and change the layout. So in theory, there's actually 10 different types per text uh, style that you go through, whether or not you have that toggled on or off. Um, I personally typically like to have it on so that the words rearrange in a straight line or in multiple lines and I can see the variety when they tend to just all be on one line. Um, it tends to be a lot more similar with each one of the different features um, through the text styles. I'm gonna speed this up so that you can see a variety of different styles that there are to kind of sort through and while we're watching that, I also want to talk about why it's so important to edit each photo. Now on Facebook and Instagram, they see a photo and if it is in multiple places, they tend to bury it in the feed. So one of the things that you can do if you're not interested in like coming up with a saying to go with it is just put your name on the photo. And a lot of people do this differently. You can make it uh, large so that they see your website. You can also shrink it down smaller and just put it in the bottom corner. That tends to be what I do with a lot of our photos. Also notice that some people will shrink it down small and make it a very light color like white and put it somewhere on the product, whether it be on the oil bottle, top lid, or just the side of it. And that's it. You click save and it magically goes into processing mode and saves directly to your phone that you can then upload straight from there. You end up with a beautiful photo that's uniquely yours that Facebook or Instagram will not think is the same as everybody else's. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below and remember you are amazing. Have a great day, bye.